Beach Curve Permeability Calculator. In magnetic problems, you can use pigment magnets and nonlinear magnetic materials. For material properties, you should consult the manufacturer of the material. Different units may be used and sometimes data comes in format not compatible with quick field format. In quick field, the first column should be flux density and the second column should be field strength. Sometimes pH curve comes in reverse order and sometimes the units are different. We have prepared online tool that allows you to convert units. Here I click the link. This is the web page. So I will copy this data. Quickfield uses normal pH curve. I will copy this data here. Now for the field stress, I use kilor stats and for the flux density, kilogauss. Or stats, kilogauss, and the columns order first field stress, then flux density. Now I can convert this to quick field normal BH curve. Now let's make a plot. And I will copy this data to quick field. First, I will copy coercive force and put it here. Then I will copy BH curve data and put it here. So this way we converted the data in quick field format. In a fully saturated materials, the beach curve slope, which is differential magnetic permeability, should be equal to unity. And our online tool computes differential magnetic permeability for a given beach curve. Copy the data. Again, use our online tool, put the data here, first column B, then H, units are peak parameter and Teslas, make a plot, yes, or oh, I should add the initial point zero, 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 zero. Now it looks correct and I will check the permeability value. You see it drops to the value of about 8 but it should be 1. So probably I will add here more points for example like this. And just another point. Now the magnetic permeability is close to unity. And again, I can copy the data to quick field. 
Now I am sure that material data are physically correct. And I can run the analysis. And compute the force acting on the plunger. 